Hey everyone, hope you're all doing all right. I wanted to mention this before we get into this video that this is very important to me simply because I made this for my son. He's getting old enough to enjoy it. And I want to show off some of the skills that we have here at Carmel Car Audio and the fact that this is what it's about being a dad. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, Joe with Carmel Car Audio and today we are working on a white Ford truck. We are gonna put some underglow, some wheel well lights, a light bar, speakers, an amplifier, and an upgraded battery. I tell you what, let's get to it. Don't think I can fit. Here it is, this is the finished product. It doesn't look like it changed much, but I will definitely get into it. First off, I wanna go over the speakers that we put in this thing. When you bought it, it's about 175 bucks. They got like a two inch speaker down here. So I went ahead and added some four by sevens from DB Drive back here with some tweeters and I took some ABS, made a plate for it, put it in. And these speakers specifically are two ohm stable. So I series them together, bring it up to four ohms to put the impedance at the amplifier that we actually put under the hood. Wish it would have made it a little bit more friendly. Good Lord. You figure it'd be easier working on a toy car. It's not. <laughs> we went ahead and upgraded the battery system in here. I wanted to put some lithiums in here, but my lithiums were just too big and this car is too small. So I went ahead and bought four more batteries from Bass Pro. Bass Pro has these, or you can find them on Amazon or Walmart, and they're about 20 bucks. So we have one underneath the seat from factory from when you bought the car. And then I added two more here, here, and then underneath this plate back here. So he's got plenty of reserve. And then underneath this, I can pop it out. I've got the little Triton 250.2. This is 250 watts at uh, two channels, bridged at four ohms, so it's 250 watts to those two little speakers back there. Now, since it doesn't technically have a radio in it, it has a little Bluetooth module in here. I was able to do high level, run it into here, and then I was even able to get it off the ignition switch to turn the amp on and turn the amp off by pushing the button here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. And I think the other portion that we can see on the outside is the fog lights. I've got two little fog lights here. Hey, they're fog lights. They're blue little LEDs. And then I also went ahead and put LEDs in each of the wheel wells. I had to make some ABS plastic brackets for the rears, but over here I was able to get it actually underneath this hood and it lined up just perfect. The other thing is, is I put a voltmeter in this. Of course, when you turn this on, it's got its own little meter here that's four little bars that tells you, hey, 100%, 75, 50, so on and so forth. I wanted to just go above and beyond and put a little voltmeter to tell me, hey, I got 12.6, 12.7 volts on my batteries. And then I put a little switch here to where he can turn this on at any time. Now, I didn't get to do what I wanted to do. I wanted to do underglow, but honestly, at night, this thing is so bright, it would wash it out. And I think this looks plenty cool enough. The part I'm waiting on is a little light bar that's gonna go underneath the bumper of this truck. But let's go ahead and turn this thing on and let's see how it sounds. There's that speaker kicking in. Music. Bluetooth mode. I wanna try and find something that's uh, copyright free. But I'll tell you this, my son absolutely loves Snoop Dogg. And I'm talking, wait, what do you call that? Uh, Doggy Land. If you haven't heard of it, go check it out. It's actually pretty cool that Snoop Dogg is making these these kids songs and being uplifting. I think it's really cool. But let's get a song. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Pretty loud for two little speakers on this thing.
How about we turn off the lights so you can actually see this whenever it's dark out? I got this, let's quick disconnect, whoop. You can actually get this to be wired where you flip this over here. He now has full control over the pedal, how fast and forward and backward he goes. He even has the controls for the audio right here. Or if we're wanting to be safe and we're in a very busy neighborhood or something like that, I can turn this around or I can even have him do it. He can use the remote control and drive the car himself without even being in it, or he can be in it as well, or he can be in it and I can control it and just drive him around. It's a very fun project. I had a lot of fun with it. I was able to get a little creative. There's six lights in total, and especially with the toggle switch, that lights up as well. Same thing with the voltmeter. A couple things that I did not get to do, that I'm just waiting on parts for, the light bar that's gonna go underneath here. I'm excited to put that on. And then on top of that, uh, I think this is the funny part. I got U-bolts so I can put in here and on this side, making tow hooks. So he can put a little strap on here and grab his wagon. His buddies can hop in and he can tow his buddies around and they can listen to Snoop Dogg and play their you know, wheels on the bus, which by far is his favorite song right now by Snoop Dogg. If you guys want to learn about audio or learn about custom fabrication, this is cheap. This is cheap. This is 175 bucks for this uh, little car. You break a panel on it, what'd it cost you? 175 bucks for the whole thing to, to learn how electronics work, how to use a multimeter and how to hook things up. I think it's a great project, especially for those who want to get into audio or custom fabrication and making little ABS plastic panels to hold on to speakers or for lights. Thank you guys for staying tuned to the end. Uh, for those of you who haven't, subscribe, like, and follow. Make sure to stay up to date with us on everything that we do here at Carmel Car Audio. Uh, just to recap, I put about $750 into this thing that I technically didn't have, but after, uh, after seeing his reaction and how joyful he was, the overall price with all the hours I put into it and everything that the car costs and all the parts, it's priceless, man, it's priceless. And I would do it over a hundred times just like any father would. So you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.